Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Ursa Ryan and I am looking forward to this game already. Look at what I just loaded up. Oh, not one, but two geothermal fissures. Oh, now this is going to be a fun, fun start. I decided to have a go with our good old friend Teddy again, but whilst, I mean, offline I've been playing about 7 million Bull Moose games because I love Bull Moose Teddy. He's brilliant, so I thought, come on, let's give Rough Rider a go. He's pretty much like the old guy that we know and love, except from he's now got this two envoys ability with um, city states, which is quite frankly amazing. So we're going to have a bit of a domination game. I really think we can probably use his his uh, combat strength ability on the home continent to roll through everybody, do a little bit of damage. Already I can see two faith tiles over here. This, I mean, the, the stupid thing is this would have been a fantastic bull moose start, but there's something over here that's giving a load of faith and... I mean, this start is absolutely ridiculous. If you want to play along, I'm playing Deity Standard Speed. This is a continent map, just a regular continent, um, starting with all of the settings as they are, but I am playing this time with Secret Societies because, quite frankly, why would you not? And to be fair, I think I'm just going to settle in place. We've got a river. Yes, we are under a volcano, which is not great, but already, I mean, that camper spot there is just beautiful like it's it, it's amazing so let's just plonk ourselves in there we go Washington in place I love this red color I love the red color of uh, Teddy it's just amazing okay and it's Mount Everest fine and we've already found the Hermetic Order <laughs> oh my god this is just ridiculous so yeah that's that's quite good. We've um, we've already done this. Now the Hermetic Order we played with briefly um, with the Mayans. They are the sciencey one. They have brilliant uh, science buildings. Otherwise, it's all about whether or not ley lines get put onto the map. I haven't really given them a fair shout. I've given a lot of the other stuff a fair shout. I was kind of wondering if I'd go for maybe vampires, but you know what? Hell, I'll give it a go. Should we give it a go? Why not? So this uh, reveals the ley line resource on the map. Let's just see, shall we? We've joined it. Okay. Oh, there's one. <laughs> okay. So we have a ley line immediately. So this gives adjacency to pretty much every district that goes next to it. So already that is the most amazing holy site spot you could ever build. Okay. Well, that's, um, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh my God, this game. This game is going to be absolutely nuts. I think I'm going to go for the builder start this time, and I was going to go for pottery to jump immediately on campus, but I'm going to need to mine in order to get the campus here, because I want to put the rainforest down, so we're going to have to improve a tile or two. Although, speaking of that, there's actually no point, because there's nothing I can do until I get mining, and I don't want to be working those two tiles just yet, so maybe builders are not the thing to do. Should I go for... Is it worth going monument, settler, or warrior? Let's go warrior, settler do it that way but i want to see if i can get the first um great person the great uh, librarian writer whatever it's going to be called we're going to go for a science heavy game if at all possible i don't know if it is possible we'll we'll see oh the void singers were in there okay well we've already joined hermetic order so we're not going to do that this time pingala i think we're going to go for the pingala start i've gone magnus a couple of times and actually having the pingala start works really really well and yerevan apostle units can choose from any possible promotion Oh, maybe this is a good faith game. Should, maybe this is a science-y crusade -y game? I don't know. I don't want to jump immediately on science just because I can't be... Sorry, uh, immediately on religion just because I didn't particularly want to. Um, there's another ley line. Okay, we've got a few ley lines around here. How's the continents looking? Uh, this is all Asia, America. And we've actually got a continent across here. So we've actually found another continent already. Isn't that wonderful? Lots of reefs around, lots of cool stuff. Ah, barbarians. Right, we do need barbarians quickly because I want to try and kill three of them and get the bronze working upgrade. That would be an immensely cool thing. Uh, oh yeah, in fact, they've already sent a scout my way. Brilliant. And there's a scout here as well. Lovely. Oh, we've got a pantheon. What are we going to do with this? Oh, we've actually found the settler pantheon. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we can have any pantheon we want, but I think it's got to be... It's got to be the settler, surely. I mean, clearly. <laughs> we so rarely get this one anymore. 
Oh yes, that's that's great. Okay, cool. So we'll um we'll just get the settler to be moving about. We'll pin down that scout if we can help it. Switching over to discipline, urban planning. We don't need God King because we've already got the faith coming in. Why am I getting so much faith actually? Oh, it's because of Yera then. I'm getting two tiles and then Yera then. Oh, okay. Right, in that case, I don't I don't want us exclusively be working these tiles. I would quite like to work that geothermal for a little bit just to give us a little bit more science. That would work quite nicely. Um, okay, I don't know where that scout is going or where it's gone. I need to go and find that if I can. Oh, there's a ley line there as well. Oh my god, there are so many ley lines. This is brilliant. Uh, okay, we've actually pinned down this scout really well. That's going to be our first kill. Uh, we need three barbarian kills, so we're going to leave this hut um, open. And we're going to see if we can sort of do that. Fez, oh my god, this game is just, it's, it's just telling us. Go for a religious start. Oh, fine. Fine, I will. Okay, should we just found a city here? Or should we go one tile over? Uh, I'd quite like to settle on place with the marble. That would be quite handy. Um, yeah, you know what I'm going to do it, because I want to keep all my cities quite close. Oh, Mount Everest fills us with joy. Oh my god, it's a double ley line. It's a double ley line. Oh my god, this is going to be the most amazing astrology spot. Yes, please. Right, okay, the yeah, and are going to kill the Barbarian Hut before I do, so I just get the error score from doing it. I'm going to need one more Barbarian kill, and we're good. Oh, Harold Sigrisson. Oh no. Okay, the Viking longships are literally just offshore already. That's not good. Send the delegation. We'll see if we can get him on side. I'm pretty sure we won't be able to because the first impressions are terrible. So, we need a bit of, a, a bit of an army, I think. Uh, otherwise, we're going to get absolutely destroyed. Okay, we need to do this pretty quick now. Um, Holy Sight is a really good thing to get down, but I need to get the builder going quickly. Let's just switch over to masonry. I need to get the quarry going. I need to get walls up because they're, yeah, Norway are going to come for us immediately. I thought the start was too good. I thought we were doing too well. <laughs> oh, the scout fell from my trap. Other guy kills him. There's bronze working. Uh, it's not quite finished. Let's just quickly do that. Lovely. Okay, there's my third city, Boston. Settled on top of iron, so I should be able to get some of that. I've got amazing innate science just from settling on top or around things that give me science. It's, it's actually really good. I really can't complain about it. Uh, holy site. Do I get the holy site or am I going to go for the campus? For, uh, let's go for the holy site. I think actually it may work better for me. Um, doesn't really matter where I put it as long as it's down. So let's just get the holy site there. We are working uh, this rainforest to be destroyed. Lovely. Uh, and then I can put the holy site down here. Okay, let's just get that down. So masonry can now be boosted. Let's switch to writing. I need to optimize and make this as efficient as I can. Uh, okay, this, yeah, this, this plus four. Oh, it's so good. So good. We need, we're actually going to settle as many cities around Mount Everest as we can, I think. Buddhism's already been founded. Wow, that was quick. Stonehenge before 10.30. <laughs> yeah, fair play. Okay, so here is the quarry. Masonry is now boosted, which means I can now build the walls, which I'm going to do with absolute just, <laughs> just getting them down. Uh, this holy site's got eight turns now, 12 turns before that one is done. The good thing is I've got a lot of faith being put up, so I should just be able to instant purchase my profit when uh, that comes through which is pretty cool. Oh, Scout, that was not a good place for you to run. You just ran straight into trouble. <laughs> oh, I love how good America is against barbarians. It is delightful. Okay, um, let's just quickly get this tile in. We can chop chop. Lovely. Um, and then get the campus down, which I think is going to be this tile here. It's going to be a really good campus spot, so we'll do that. And here is a delightful plus four campus. We've got two campuses going down. We've got the holy site, which is pretty much almost done. I'm just saving my gold for a shrine, but actually nobody else is doing this. So my faith actually should be enough to purchase this. We'll just see. We did the second the Catholicism pick up. Feed the world. It picked up Feed the World. One day I'll get Feed the World and it'll be a really fun game. The computer just really loves it. And I don't blame them. It's a really good skill. Let's go for researcher. Okay, the science is good. So far, we're okay. We're in third position, and I intend on staying near the top. Uh, 
the scientist. Somebody's got the scientist already. I want to. I really, ideally, would like to get the library scientist, but I don't think I'm going to get it this time, unfortunately. Uh, what have we got? Urban planning. I think is still probably the best thing to do. Yeah, this is fine for now. And how frustrating is this? We got a normal era, even though I was just about to take over that encampment, which would have given me the era score needed to then get a golden era. How annoying is that? Because at least the evangelists will have to do for now. We want to get Fez on side though, ideally, before we do that. Uh, recruit a great scientist. Should be easy enough to do. It's just getting around to doing it, actually. Let's just try and get some upfront gold from Norway. Just in case they do go to war with me, I've got the gold to just put them back. <laughs> just say no. Stop it. Um, okay, we wanted to get a shrine, didn't we? Is it worth getting a shrine or do we get a trader unit and then trade with Fez? Might actually be worth doing it. Available routes to city-states. I can go Washington to Fez. I'm going to do that. Because don't forget, I have my ability. If I trade with city-states, every envoy counts as two. I'll take it. Okay, there's the route to Fez. Actually, puts a nice handy road through New Orleans as well. So that's quite cool. Here's some dyes. Do you want to do the same thing? Yeah, they do. Okay, it's another 100 gold. That is pretty awesome. I actually saved this one for libraries. Oh, people are getting profit points. Okay, we need to hold on. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I probably should get some shrines then. As painful as it is, I'll do that next time. Get a bit more culture. Very good. Oh, Pengala's such a good starting governor. I miss using him. And there's the campus. Okay, 23 science per turn. That is pretty good. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Oh, we're down to one more profit. We're down to one more profit. I don't know if we're going to get it, actually. People have really jumped on it this game. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, Fez, yes, it gives me... Uh, when you use a religious unit to convert a city for the first time to N20 science... Okay, so it doesn't have to be my religion. Fez could still be really, really useful. So, hey, you know what? Sod it. We're not going to win this. Let's just get libraries up instead. Why not? Actually, we can invite other religions in. Warrior monks is a terrible religion. Let's get, um... I quite like the idea of having Catholicism. Korea, that would explain why somebody's got loads of science. Oh, look, she's got 59 science. Oh, uh, that just makes my... What I thought was a really good science start. And that just shoves that into oblivion, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. There goes me feeling good about myself. Never mind. Political philosophy. Okay, I think I'm going to go for Oligarchy because I want to give myself the plus four combat strength for later in case I go to war because I really feel like war this game. That's just one of those things. Wildcard policies, I've got two diplomatic favour coming in per turn now. That is lovely. So, uh, we've got uh, Discipline. Don't need that. We'll go for Agogi. I'm going to go for Economic Policies. Let's go for Settlers. Um, and let's go for okay, different charismatic leader. Oh, we can kind of do that and then get more envoy points, but it's not really worth it because I'm going to get them by my civics anyway. So why don't we go for yes, builders and settlers? That'll do. Go for the triple threat. Oh, okay. There's a load of Norwegian uh, warriors over on that side. I'm not entirely sure how they got there. I mean, I thought they were totally the other side of the map. Weird. Here we go. Fez gives me two envoys with it, uh, which means that I get the extra science when I convert cities with religion. That's pretty cool. It also gives me access to a bunch of warriors, actually, influenced by Harold. Okay, that's good. So I could levy the military for about 200 gold. That's not bad. I think the best thing to do is to go for drama and poetry. And I'm going to just treat myself to I get rid of this one. I'm going to go for inspiration get myself great scientist points per turn it'll just stack up a little bit and give me more of a chance of picking up at least one scientist that would be quite handy okay now Norway are moving a huge amount of military around my land so that's fine if you want to make deals that's cool oh look that's actually Yevren those are Yevren's troops <laughs> oh dear you know what that means I can steal them if I recruit a great writer and I've got an envoy going oh that would be that would be delightfully fun. Okay, so I'm just going to plonk a city here just because I need to be in range of the mountains as much as I can. And I like, I like to do that sort of thing. Let's get ancient walls up and running quickly as well. 
and I need to make sure that I've got at least one swordsman so my cities at least have a little bit of grit to them. Uh, we've got the iron working up now as well. We can go machinery maybe, get some crossbows or should go construction. That's good. I'm not used to having this much money at the beginning of the game. Actually having flexible options. What are we going to do? If Norway do attack me, they are going to regret it because I'm going to steal those, those envoys from them. Uh, there's the swordsman. Yeah, lovely. And there's a mega colossal eruption right by my capital. Okay, what does that do? One population lost. Five tiles gained fertility. Cool. That's, that's not bad, actually. I'll take that trade. Hinduism. What does this do? All world wonders provide plus four faith. Hmm. I don't know about that. Don't know about that. Well, I guess... Because I'm, yeah, actually to be fair, it doesn't matter what it is, I need to just jump on it. So what we'll do is we'll we'll build the shrine uh, next. Oh, no, I am finished the library first. And then we'll start spreading that religion. And then I Fez will give me religion for doing it. Also, check out this. Plus four, plus six. Nice. Oh, that's a lot of signs. Really cool amount of signs. Should we go for Warlord's Throne this game? I think it might be worth it. I don't need to buy it just yet. We'll build it just yet. I think for now we'll we'll keep just settling. It's probably the most sensible thing to do, isn't it? Oh, there's Protestantism. What do you do? Warrior monks. Oh, I see that there's the two rubbish religions are being spread to me. I want better religions. Anyway, I'm actually going to get great writer points instead now because I'm more likely to pick one up. Uh, nobody's doing the general, actually. To be fair, so I could pick him up and give classical and medieval year. That would help with early game war, wouldn't it? If I went and uh, declared on Norway, for instance, that would be quite handy. We could levy, should we levy the military and then go and do it? Or do we, do we trust that we're going to be able to keep these guys? I mean, I probably, probably. I can take them across the sea. We could declare on Norway. It could be fun. I mean, they're, mo they're likely to have loads of boats. So yeah, let's do it. Levy the military. Ho -ho! Okay, one more envoy in Fez. That'll put it to six. Pretty safe, that. When the trade route is done, I'll send a trade route to Yevren and we'll work on that one instead. Don't know how they're doing it, but Norway are actually on nine techs. I'm on 17. That's, I mean, cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I'm going to get Hildegard. She's great. Yeah, the faith adjacency would be amazing on this one. It's like eight, eight, uh, or four science per turn. That's pretty cool. So. Ship building has been done. Quick, across the sea, across the narrow sea for everybody. <laughs> By the way, diplomatically, I, I literally couldn't care less if um, people liked me or didn't like me this game. Like, it, it's, <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna lie, I'm gonna beg, I'm gonna steal. Just gonna be an absolute pain in the ass. Big stick policy, here we come. Oh, Gilgamesh. Lovely to meet you. In fact, it is lovely to meet you. He instantly doesn't like me. Um, so that's interesting. So, I mean, declare friendship. There we go. It still works. The trick still works. <laughs> All right, we'll open war. Yes, great. Who are they at war with? Norway? Norway? Oh, well. Well, 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 well. Okay. Well, in that case, once all of my ships are um, sort of out of what well, all of my troops are out of the water which is where they're most dangerous and sorry most vulnerable i should say um okay we've got the one galley here that's lovely cool well in that case i will go to war um yes no i will join your war with harold what would it take oh, give me one gold come on give me a luxury actually to be fair we can probably do a decent deal um what would you give me if i gave you all of this 17 gold per turn? Gotta be kidding me. Oh, it's rubbish. All right, we'll declare war anyway. Let's see what this does. And your career gave me 21 gold per turn. That's much better. And I'm just gonna get uh, Victor ready. Got him in, he's ready to go. Okay, now great rate of points per turn. That's lovely. But now we're gonna go for great um, natural philosophy. Settlers, I don't need that. I will keep um, now general points per turn. Um, let's just double check and see how much is it. 750 faith. I can bring that down. I could get the great writer, but I'm just holding fire on that great writer until 
uh, I've got the trade route with Yerevan. It should be pretty soon, actually. One turn away and I can get that trade route going. In fact, Korea, do you want to join in? Join in with my war. No? Ugh. That's rubbish. Okay. Uh, Fez, that's not a route I need. I need you to go to Boston. Thank you. Oh my god, I forget that Sumeria gets all of the experience as well from all of these fights. God, they're good. Okay, those are the Viking longships. They're in pretty quick. The galley did pretty well holding its own, but I'm going to pull out of there pretty quickly. I'm actually hoping that Sumeria can't hold on to all these cities. If they, you know, fail to do so, it'd be quite good for us. Now, Swordsman, 40 strength from Oglagaki. We're just going to have to attack a couple times and see if we can just wind this city down a bit. Oh, of course, we can't trade with Yerevan at the moment. Because, of course, we are at war with them. Okay, right, well, that's a little miscalculation, uh, but that's okay. We don't mind that. Have they still got the, the quest to get the writer? Oh, man, no, we should have done that maybe a turn later. Damn. Never mind. We learn. We live and learn, but it's a bit annoying nonetheless. Oh, yeah, the, the longships are attacking my city walls. Why? Why are you doing that? That is a terrible, terrible move. Sun Tzu. Okay, this is good. Let's just purchase you in with some faith. Delightful. We're in a dark age, which which is going to be a real problematic thing. Um, <laughs> but never mind. Just going to build some free inquiries because we're getting lots of Eurekas and I'm pretty, pretty happy that I'm quite good at that. Let's just quickly trade out this guy and then you can just do a little bit more damage. It doesn't matter if he's not super efficient at it. Quite frankly, we're just doing the damage at the moment. Let's give Teddy culture bombs, and I'd like to be able to build military units in half the time. That sounds great to me. Hell yeah. Oh, Gilgamesh gets it. Nice. Oh, the Kemmer. Nice to meet you. Military emergency against... Oh, my ally. Why do they want to do that? Seems a bit random to me. Now, I'm just making sure that I lead this attack with um, levy units, because it doesn't really matter if these guys die. Um, to be brutally honest. I actually killed a Viking longboat though. Haha! -ha! Amazing. Alright, let's give this a good try. That is a good attack. This one will kill the warrior, but then I can bring this one in and do another attack. Yes! Keep the city. Kill the boat. Let's get Victor in immediately. And weirdly enough, actually I'm, that's pretty good. I'm hoping, actually, I can now take care of these Norwegian boats pretty well. Yes, I can. Ah, <laughs> okay, right, everybody, you make sure you're healing up. We've got iron coming in, we've got plenty of iron, we've got troops, we've got all kinds of different things now. The war carts are coming in to help me. don't actually need them right now. I've even got a lovely settler. Ready to plonk another thing down to get another fantastic campus going. We've got loads of beautiful camper spots, actually. Let's just plonk this one down quickly before I forget. Um, and yeah, I think I might leave that as a production tile. Oh yes, the swordsman. It moves so fast with the great general. I love this a lot. Okay, oh, there's a crossbowman. Oh, lovely. Don't you love how quickly the AI can spring crossbowman on you? It's just delightful. Delightful on all levels. The cannons are they at war with Norway as well? No, they aren't. Hmm. Something really weird going on here. Some sort of very random... Join ongoing war. Like a three way. I think they're after um, Sumeria, aren't they? That would kind of make sense. Okay, it doesn't matter. The swordsmen are in now. We've got 11 turns remaining on the levy, which should be plenty, I'm hoping. Um, the rest of our troops are just sort of slowly making their way through this horrifically small land bridge. Christiansand is actually a really good, really good city. Uh, I can't complain about that one. Did we get any nighter? This is the question, because this will change how I go about this particular fight. Found one result. There. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So we can get musketmen. We can get musketmen. Now, do I want to go for education or do we go for... Uh, yeah, let's go education, but then we'll go for gunpowder. Earn a great scientist. I must be close. No is the short answer to that. I'm not close. <laughs> I'm really struggling to navigate around where Norway's troops are here. It's very random. Uh, okay, son, you just need to come back so I can get a good attack on that crossbow and then another good attack. I need that guy dead. Oi, what do you mean troops are moving through your territory? Like, honestly, you are my friend and I'm at war with, with the people you're at war at. 
don't don't give me that. <laughs> oh, it's ever stressing. Um, I mean, I realised all my units have got altitude training because they moved past um, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, moved past Mount Everest. I totally forgot that. That's really really cool. Uh, this war with Norway is, is, I mean, it's just too much of a cluster muck. And unless um, the Kema were to go to war with them as well, which they're very unlikely to do, I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to press too much at this moment. So I think I'm tempted to just peace out and see what they'll give me. Um, okay, it doesn't look like they're actually going to give me anything, which is a bit of a shame. Never mind. Yeah, for now I'm tempted just to retreat and hold on to what I've got because I've got some pretty good holdings from this war. I've got a great general that'll keep all my people safe. Yeah, I mean science wise this is where we're doing the best actually. Look at Norway's navy, they're trying their best but there's nothing they can do about this like narrow channel. Now can I get Fez going with this? I'm hoping I can start getting some science going from this. Okay I just lost all my warriors and one of my galleys. No way, come on, I've had enough now. <laughs> oh dear, actually, hang on, if I made peace that gave the city back, how much would they give me? Uh, 17 gold per turn. Hmm, it's alright, but I think I'd rather keep it, actually. Oh, it's very kind of them, just giving a, giving a subtle to me. Thanks, Norway. Oh, hang on. Oh, for God's sake, Korea's missionaries actually stole the, the, the convert from me. Oh, that's so annoying of them. Owls of Minerva. Nope, too late for you. Sorry about that. Okay, Victor, I think I might give you Garrison Commander just to help put Norway away, just in case they do choose to chase me. I'm pretty sure they won't, but you never know. Uh, let's get this archer back in there. Um, you can see I've actually got a spare galley. He was causing me problems. I've got two galleys in this city. Um, or not. Oh, no, there's, there's, the, yeah, okay, there's the other galley. Good. Right. Um, attack once, attack twice. Is that boat dead? No, it's not dead. Ugh. We'll get the kill then. Get a little bit of science from this. 20 science. And so that, 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 I feel like that wasn't worth it. <laughs> okay. Have the feudalism civic. I think that's what I'm doing right now, isn't it? Feudalism? Oh no, I'm getting civil service. All right. Never mind. Oh, I might be able to do this actually. Will that give me more science? No, it's already been hindered. Oh, for God's sake, the specifics of this are really confusing. Never mind. No, 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 no. I don't like military emergencies. Uh, I don't like natural disasters as well, but I'm going to especially vote that one down. I do not want to be at war with everyone. Uh, failed. Oh, thank God I put all four in. The Camons were about to go to war with me. <laughs> no, sorry. International community doesn't like you, Norway. I just want peace now. This is... This is bordering on getting a bit boring. There we go, there's the 17 gold per turn. Okay, we have peace with Norway. Good. You can see I'm actually making one, two, three universities now. St. Louis has just finished its campus as well, which is a wonderful thing. That is great. That means we can start to do a few more deals with people, get some trading going. I, I spent way too much of this power than I would like to have done, but it gets me a little bit more stuff. That's good. Uh, in fact, actually, does that mean I'm now at peace with Yerevan? Yes, it does. Okay, can we get Yerevan back on side? I'm pretty sure we should be able to. Typically, Norway just got massively flooded as soon as I sort of peaced out with them. It's always the way, isn't it? Always the way. Okay, Christiansen, oh, this is actually a really good city. I just need to build up its infrastructure a little bit and we can get that going pretty rapidly. This is the sort of deal I like with Gilgamesh, yes. Spare luxuries, military alliance, nice. Okay. We're doing all right. We're just about topping 100 science per turn, which on a normal game, I swear, would be really, really good. But somehow we've fallen behind. But it doesn't matter because we are still seven techs ahead of Norway. And that means that Norway is prime, prime conquering territory. Um, you just need some nitre. I just need to get this into the empire to get the gunpowder going. I need to start getting some boats as well. Um, in fact, actually, we might even just focus on getting some boats. I can take on Norway. I like the idea of trading with religious city-states, but I really like the idea of uh, being able to produce units in half the time. So let's do that quickly. Yes. Oh yes, two points. Oh, we actually won all the points. We're uh, Samira and I. Now oh, man, I knew it was Spain. As soon as I saw Catholicism, it's, it's always Spain, isn't it? Right, so if we can make friends with them immediately. 
uh, delegation, uh, no, yeah, open borders, come on, give me some open borders, good, uh, they, we, we don't follow another religion, so they should like us, in theory, why don't I just sort of say, what would you give me for that, 59 gold, I'll give you as a gift, aha, a nighter now, it's on its way, good, we've got a library just done, I realise I'm being an absolute idiot, because I haven't yet uh, got myself the governor that improves my universities to our chemical society so that's um a bit silly <laughs> you just have to pretend i've got that D -d yeah definitely just just pretend yeah i knew spain would want an alliance i knew you'd want an alliance about religious uh, they'll take a religious alliance yeah go on then nice okay we've got two allies we're dividing the world into two distinct camps here i think the universities are now starting to be complete. It is wonderful. Washington has zero production. <laughs> it's really, really funny. But I need you to have the warlords very now because I'm war is inevitable. Um, yeah, the production not not been the best, not been my uh, my best game for it. Put it that way. At any rate, a normal era. This is good. Okay, so military tactics has just been passed. That's good. We're in a normal era. Norway is in a normal era, which is a good thing. Let's just go for... Uh, Hicksunk Draconis. Yeah. Each time we kill a non-barbarian naval unit in combat. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll kill some naval units because we're going to go after Norway. So that's pretty inevitable, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Right. We've got a trade route back. So we've got to think, who do we want to be suzerain of? I've been saving my units for this very purpose. I think Yerevan is actually not a bad option. Uh, we've got a couple of spare envoys. I'm just thinking, do I put one with Fez quickly? But no, we don't need to do one with Fez at the moment. Uh, in fact, actually, is Amani anywhere? Yeah, she's in Muscat. I could put her in Yerevan, really, couldn't I? Okay, let's get the trade route with Yerevan done. And then we can go 2-3, like that. Puts 5 then. Yeah, then is now my buddy. Oh, Gilgamesh, you're a good ally. Okay, that gives me all the money I need to just move my swordsman forward, upgrade to a musketman, and then everyone can slowly start to come forward. A musketman doesn't actually get any benefit from being near the great general at all. But that's okay, because we've got other units which are doing pretty much all the work for us. Um... In fact, actually, you know what? Do you want to go to a joint war? Should we have a joint war? Uh, actually, are they already at war? They are already at war. Oh, lovely. Let's say joint war against Harold Hadava. Can you give me some gold for it? Oh, yes, they will. Oh, yes, they will. Oh, Spain. Okay. Spain really, really are cool with this war. Um, sure. They're giving me all this stuff. I mean, seriously? I'm just going to keep asking for it if you're going to give it to me. So they're going to literally give me all of that to go to war. I mean, okay, they can't make that because I don't have any temples. That's it. That's that's literally everything they could have given to me. Okay, they're not going to give me Barcelona. <laughs> I'm at Toledo, no. Uh, the, you're not fine. Okay, declare war. So that turns into a brilliant deal for me. I get... 60 gold per turn basically to, to go into a war that I already wanted to do sure I mean I'm not entirely sure about the logic of this but that's okay let's uh sh isn't he? I don't even know if there's a need to pillage I could just kill well that was pretty easy um I mean that's just the long swordsman in now city's mine don't even have any loyalty pressures with it. Just taken out loads of their defense by doing that. Ancient walls immediately up. There's even a ley line here. We've got um, Mendelev. I kind of, I don't know if he's the scientist I particularly want. Oh, I wanted Newton. Whoa, hang on. You just got two in a row. Did you just use all his faith to do that? Oh, the ass. I kind of liked that guy. Okay, I wanted Newton, but never mind. That's fine. We'll use Mendelev and we'll get industrialization chemistry up. It's not too bad actually. I can even give myself battle cry now. This caravel is already starting to level up, so he's already got emboldened against naval units. I can give him uh, defensive strength against ranged units. It's pretty good. Cool. I've got these ranged boats coming in as well. This is all just because of the World Congress. I can build uh, units at 
what is it, 50% of the cost as I can normally do. So I've got about six quadrillions already. Here's the Warlord's Throne. I actually didn't quite build it fast enough to get the full effect from it, but still, we're going to get plenty of effect. And that's all good. I'm, I'm actually treating myself to a couple of night units as well. And if they wanted to make it easy, easy for us, we'd, <laughs> they're actually embarking all of their units. I mean, honestly. It gets to the point, doesn't it, where you start thinking, do you do you want to win this battle? Is this something you're actively trying to lose here? Because, quite frankly, I've even got the musketman kills now. Ha! <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, okay, so that's square rigging done. That means we've got loads and loads and loads of potential to have lots of good frigates. Um, do we want to go for industrialization now? Get myself the coal. I want to see if I've got any coal. Yeah, that's probably a good thing to do. And then I can focus on getting some industrial zones up. There's the Warlord's Throne done, which is pretty cool. Should we get a caravel? Probably could do with one more, although this city just is a bit rubbish. I could do with a better capital. Let's get a granary going. And let's actually get ritual going. Um, the alchemical societies. Okay, good. Now this makes these buildings a lot better. So now we're getting actual gold from our societies. And I'm also getting great engineer points. Um, so I can actually start to get some good great engineers. How many of the great engineers have gone? Only the one. It's not too bad, actually. Here come my units. Okay, we're killing all of the units that they have embarked. Just because, I mean, why would I not? Uh, the alchemical society yes the extra production is really good the merchant points the engineer points oh i've already got a bunch of these things as well the consulate that gives me more influence points per turn that lets me get more envoys which is quite exciting not the best thing in the world no i think i'm gonna make use of just this world um congress and just keep building units as fast as i can oh matu tipla that's quite cool oh the norway's got some awesome land around here this attack really couldn't be going any more swimmingly. Like, it's just perfect. I've got the capital under siege. I've got this musketman. He's ready just to walk into this city. He's got tortoise on him now. In fact, actually, let's just get the knight across and involved to help. Uh, the arch is not... <laughs> he's, he's pretending to help. Bless him. I'm giving him sort of like a token job and saying like, Yeah, you're here too. And it's like, yay. Oh dear. An industrial zone. I think I can probably do at least a bit of decent adjacency with an industrial zone. Not not the best, but I think this will, yeah, that would give a decent factory. So let's do that. Okay, we need a good factory going. Otherwise, we've got no production in like any of my cities right now. Um, but yeah, Norway are. I mean, we're pretty, pretty much have Norway against the ropes, giving up. Not much they can really do about this attack now, because their navy just got scuttled against my caravels. Oh what? They just neutralised Pingala? Oh come on. He was so good. I mean that's probably why they did it, but <laughs> never mind. Um, okay, is that the capital taken? Yes it is. Hehehehe. <laughs> Keep the city. Lovely, 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 lovely. Fortify until healed. Oh Norway. You tried. You tried. I guess I guess we can say that, right? We, they definitely gave it a valiant effort. But ultimately, Valiant just isn't good enough. <laughs> Norway has joined Valhalla. Oh, that's good fun. Right, now, um, who's next? The Kemmer? With only 250 military strength? <coughs> dear, oh dear, oh dear. That doesn't sound like a lot of military strength. Especially not with all of these uh, musketmen around. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton for all of the help you give on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes and subscribes to the video. Cheers, you help keep me going.